How are you doing today? I personally just want to talk about the the uh, my experience at cosmetology school, my experience at Empire. I also went to Columbus Tech about mm, about 13, 12, 13 years ago, but I've decided to literally pursue um, pursue cosmetology as a profession. And this is going to be pretty interesting, just being in, kind of into just doing my hair or, you know, doing people's hair growing up. Um, and, you know, one thing I love about cosmetology school, it literally does, it's, it's not just hair, it's makeup, it's, you know, skin care, it's nails. As you can see, yeah, I just did, I did do my nails. Um, I don't even go to the salons anymore and not just because of the corona, but, um, it's just something that I chose to do. Um, uh, I've already said that, I've already did said that I'm um, definitely building my salon right now. I'm definitely gonna be finished it by the time that I graduate. Within a week, I'll be a senior um, in cosmetology school. Um, for the most part, I feel that cosmetology school, uh, both the schools that I went to right now, both schools that I went to, you're gonna have a very positive experience for the most part because of the fact that most of us, the majority of us is trying to get from point A to point Z in life in general. Um, it's, it's very inspiring. Um, you, even, you have uh, different uh, women from, from straight out of high school to be up in your 40s or maybe about to turn 50. Um, a lot of us have children um, and we're just trying to do something positive with ourselves. Um, it's a lot you can learn if you stick it out. Um, I think that it's very positive when you have an instructor who talks about, you know, their experiences. Sometimes even, you know, some of them can even work with celebrities sometimes. They let you know how that is. Um, that's something that you want to get into, do your thing, but that's just not something that I want. Um, and then on top of that, when you graduate it's um there's also uh such thing as further in your education and that really does depend on this the licensed stylist at that point there are a lot of stylists however who have absolutely no intention of further in their education which is their own business um i personally uh definitely am going to further my education because the more you know about something you know the more successful you're going to be about it and then my, my thing is it's not even about money or anything like that it's for me i want to be able to give my clients the best service that i possibly can you know sometimes you know when you look at some of these youtube videos and you hear about people who have bad experiences i have had bad experiences uh with uh, uh what do you um with stylists and i don't want to do it to people you know it's like it's like when you go to somebody you shouldn't feel like you've lost something you shouldn't feel like you've been took or something you should feel good about yourself you know if you paid for a service you should get what you you paid for and and more maybe um the big differences that i um uh, see within certain within the salons and what we are taught I would have to say we are taught to be professional, but a lot of people, once you get out there in their world, in that world of cosmetology, a lot of people are not. I personally don't feel like your client has to be a celebrity for you to be um, respectful of them. Um, I don't think that they should have to be a celebrity in order uh, for you to for you to maintain a certain uh, professionalism. Because if you if you pay attention um you can just pay it we can just talk about a reality show how people treat their customers versus how they treat celebrity clients is two completely different things and i personally believe that you shouldn't have to be a celebrity for them to treat you like you're a human being um and that's just that's just how i feel about it um i've also experienced a uh, some negativity from a few of maybe I mean it, it uh, yeah well from, from a few people um and these 
this also included instructors this also included students it's not always just the students um and i you know the, the thing is with that people don't know what you go through they can't tell by look my, my foot is itching right that's why i'm doing the scratching um people can't tell by looking at you what you're going through they can't tell what you've been through so i think that it's just it's not only just unprofessional on an instructor's part but it's just it's kind of down it's just kind of not right it's mean you know because you have somebody you know coming to school to try and make some of themselves try and better themselves in some way i think it's not right for somebody in that position to do what they can to make it even harder for you and i've learned something from from what i from the uh from the schools that i've been to as far as cosmetology i've learned i've, I've had experiences that taught me that i want to treat people with respect at all times and that's because what we're talking about clients or every day walking down the street you know I know when I, I go to school in Center City, you know, you may see homeless people, you know, sitting on sidewalks sometimes, sometimes when I have the money in my pocket, which is kind of often, you know, I work, you know. So, you know, I'll, when it's cold outside, get them a cup of coffee or buy them some tea, you know, or, you know, I got, just went to Dunkin' Donuts, got myself a power breakfast sandwich, go ahead and give it to somebody, you know, stuff like that, you know. Um... That I think that you know sometimes, and I've experienced this. Like I said, I experienced this this one right here from instructors. I don't really care too much about maybe like the one or two students that didn't like me that I'm thinking of right now. I don't really care about them because it's like it's like it's always going to be somebody. It's always going to be somebody wherever you are. You could be in a music on a music video set. You could be in a movie set or or whatever or just a, a setting you know, of people, you can be in a salon and it's gonna be somebody who's gonna be on some dumb junk. So that's not I that's not something uh that really bothers me too much because it's always gonna be that. It's always gonna be some form of neg negativity. But I think that from as far as an instructor's position, that's that's just not okay. And it's and it's and it's actually very unprofessional. You know, I, sometimes I got the feeling that, you know, people saw me as competition maybe. I don't know. I don't know because I'm just here to learn. That's all I know. Um, I would also, um, but I can definitely say that we had um, study uh, guides. Um, good, really good study guide. There's a lot of information that you need to learn, you know, because a lot of people think that cosmetology school is just so easy breezy whatever it is a lot that you have to learn because you have to learn about diseases you have to learn about muscles you have to learn about arteries and remembering what everything is and where it is and you know so it's definitely a lot that you need to learn we had to download this app called Kahoot um that's something that really helps you with the tests um I mean, I can definitely say that my, I'm definitely documenting my, um, what do you call it? I'm really, I'm definitely documenting my time at Empire. Um, I don't have any pictures from when I was in, uh, Columbus Tech down in Georgia. Um, but it's an experience and I definitely feel like it's a, you know, I definitely feel like it's a really good experience. Um, because like I said, I'm learning from everything that happens, everything that I go through, all the people that I meet there, good or bad, you know, and I just, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm a little messed up over the fact that there literally were people who dropped out of certain classes because of, a, a, of somebody in authority not treating them well. Wow. My advice to you is... First of all, people attack when they feel threatened. If you haven't done anything to anybody, you're a sweetheart to everybody, and somebody is trying to come for you, maybe you threaten them in some way, okay? 
you threaten them in some way and i want to say to anybody who's watching this video do not let anybody don't let any of their issues become an issue for you okay this is none of if somebody has a problem with me that is none of my business i could care less because when you first come to cosmetology school when i first came over there to empire the one thing one thing that they ask you is you talk you got to talk about yourself things you did with your life and honey i am not at all a blank canvas okay i have done things with myself you know i've even even wrote a children's book that i am you know that i've been doing i'm doing okay you know i sell some every once in a while i literally just sold three books a couple of days ago and it's you know it's not much but the thing about it is if you're pissed off at my potential if you're pissed off at the fact that i got an a average in cosmetology school if you're pissed off at the fact that i'm doing well or that i'm 38 and i'm taking care of myself well honey you about to be have a heart attack because it's, it's not even a piece of who i am okay and anybody and i don't care who's whoever's watching this video y'all young people i don't care if you're my age whoever don't let anybody stand in your way because even enemies can wind up having respect for you when they see that you are on point when you are doing what you can to take care of your kids when you let not any dumb junk including their dumb junk stand in your way so that's pretty much all i had to say about this for now because not only well i'm tired so i'm about to go to bed but yeah stay strong bye